this is chapter 8 of developing the invoice management system all right so in this video we will look at how to input our data when I say data I mean how to input the invoices in the system all right so in the previous video we were able to go to the admin page right and then logged in from here we should be able to add the invoice okay using this form so we've already created this form and now we want to be able to input this data through the front end of the application without using the Django backend or the Django admin page. All right, so you have the codes right here as usual. Okay, so the first step is to create a form which is already created. Okay, this form I have it right here in forms.py. Okay, I'm gonna maintain the same form to input data in the front end. Okay, so I'm gonna move to step number two that is to create the views All right but before we able to create the views we should import the form in the views okay so I'm gonna head over to views.py right here okay so I'm gonna import the form before I'm able to use it right here All right so let me copy this code and show you why I need to import it copy I'm gonna paste it right here all right so we're gonna create a view like we did in the previous video all right so this view will have a variable form and that form will be the form that we create in forms.py okay so it's gonna take a request dot post or not all right so this is just one variable or one parameter all right so it's gonna take what we passed in from the forms that is after clicking the save button okay so we're gonna check if form that is valid is a function within Django okay we're gonna check if that function passed the validation that we're gonna set right here right now it doesn't have any validation but we're gonna add validations later okay that's gonna be in a different video so once those validations are passed okay it's gonna take whatever is in the form and save it okay so that save this is another function that saves whatever we passed in the form okay so this is gonna be just a regular context and we're gonna render out a form using this method okay and also the title all right so we're gonna return the, re the request okay and the template that we're gonna create shortly all right so now because we're using the form right here which is not imported all right uh, okay so when I was testing this I had to import it right here okay so you have to import it first you're gonna say from the forms import the invoice form All right so look in the forms of py module and then import this function right here that is this here okay so once that is imported you can go ahead and paste this right here All right so I'm gonna save it and confirm that we don't have any error and that looks good okay so I'm gonna move to the next step and that is to create the URLs okay so now since we have the view we have to have a URL that runs this view okay so I'm gonna copy this it's gonna be very similar to the um, to the default or the home um, URL which I can find right here okay so we have an empty string right here that takes us to the home view okay so I'm gonna paste this right down here so for this one okay to run that particular view the add invoice view I'm gonna go to slash add invoice okay once I do that Django will look for the add invoice view in views.py file all right so and I'm, we're gonna give it a name of add invoice this is not important at the moment but I'm gonna explain that in another video all right so I'm gonna save it and then do a slash add invoice right here okay so once our application is running I can do slash add invoice underscore invoice okay so um okay I have a type right here in V O I C E all right so we have template doesn't exist at add invoice so it's looking for an entry that HTML template this is what we're gonna create next all right I have the code right here so I'm gonna copy this it's just a simple HTML page. I'm gonna copy and paste it right in the text editor. So I'm gonna create a new template in templates 
page or template folder I'm gonna right click and say new file I'm gonna paste the content right here okay and I'm gonna save it as entry HTML click Save okay so this is very similar to our home template that we created just with extra few content All right so we have our header okay which will display the title okay now we're gonna have the body within the body we're gonna create a form okay so the form will be like this we're gonna have a form open right here and close it right here all right so the method is gonna be post and action we're gonna leave it as empty or blank all right this is very important right here the csrf token so this is general way of cleaning up this form okay to prevent attacks like sql injection and the like okay so you gotta have it right here okay now we're gonna have this context variable okay like what we have above here in our home that html template all right so i explained that in the last video so this is how we call these variables in views of py the variables that are in the context variable right here okay now i have form so to call that out in the template i'm gonna use this double curly brackets and then write the variable name here and then close it with double curly brackets okay so the method oh sorry the input type will be submit and the value is what appears on the browser all right so i'm gonna click save and then refresh the page and the error should be gone okay so this is the value right here that is this so if i say submit click save refresh you should have submit right here all right so this is how to render the form on your browser if i add in the data or if i type in the data i'm going to do test 2 as the customer name i'm going to type a number and then the date i'm going to leave it blank if not django will throw an error i need to know the actual format but that's not important at the moment okay we're going to add line one that would be like laptops quantity i'll give it 10 price 10 total i'm going to give it 100 and i'm going to give this 200 and click submit if you click on the submit it should be able to save it in the database all right so i'm going to go to the admin page since we didn't have the list template yet we can't show the data on the front end because we've not done that part yet okay i'm gonna do that in the next video but to test that this data is actually saved or i can do this i can open another browser or another tab and then go to admin and see if the data is actually saved and that is sitting right here and if i click it i can see the details of what i inputted right in here if I keep on clicking submit, we should be able to have multiple instances of that same data. We're going to see how to prevent this as well. Okay, so I'm going to go back and then recap what we just did. Okay, so we've created the form which was already created in the last video before this one. That is chapter 7 and then we imported that form in views.py okay from there we created this view that allows us to input data in the database okay using the front end and then we created the urls and then finally the template okay all right so i'm gonna re rename this to entry so i just wanted to use entry so that i can use this same uh, template for multiple entries so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to click on that like button. Click on the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and you've not subscribed yet. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you in the next video.